Over the course of a workday, you create a lot of content, drafts of documents, meeting notes and agendas, checklists, and so on. Evernote gives you a central workplace where you can create all of this content. Let's look at how to write in Evernote. In this example, we'll create an agenda for an upcoming meeting. Click plus new note. And then let's enter a title for it. Let's add a headline for our agenda items. Let's make the header stand out a little bit more. I'll add bold and underline to help it stand out. Let's add items that we want to discuss at the meeting. To keep things organized, I'm going to create a bulleted list. And I'll do that by clicking the bullet list button in the toolbar. I can also add sub items that I want to discuss. Under product ideas, I'm going to create a numbered list. First, I'll click on the numbered list button in the toolbar and then add my items. If I want to call attention to a particular item, I just select it, then click on the highlighter. If there are items that I want to make sure get covered during the meeting, I can add checkboxes for them. Just click on the checkbox button and add items for follow-up, steps in a process, and so on. You can check off the checkboxes as items get completed. You can also add images and other documents like PDFs or Office files directly into your notes. Just drag them and they're permanently stored in Evernote. You can open your attachments right from Evernote and any changes you make are automatically saved right back into the note. Tables can help you visually arrange information right inside of your notes. Just click on the table button and select the number of columns and rows. In this example, we'll add the names and roles of people at our meeting. Evernote also lets you record your voice with a built-in audio recording function. Just click on the microphone to start your recording, and then hit the record button. Remember to follow up after this meeting. Click Save, and your audio is saved directly into your note, where you can play it back later when you need to. You've just learned how to get started with writing in Evernote. Check out our other videos to learn how to do even more with Evernote.